This short video is going to explain how we could administrate and manage hubs inside of BIMTRACK. The process is relatively straightforward and very user friendly. Once I've logged into the BIMTRACK interface, the first thing I may want to do is add a brand new hub, or indeed manage an existing one. For the purpose of this example today, we will add a new hub. By clicking Add Hub, we can go ahead and give the hub a name. In this instance, let's just call this Man and Machine Training. Press Start Working, and it will go away and correct that hub with the BIMTRACK ABB subdomain. The hub is now complete. It is set up and ready for use. However, as administrator, one of the first things that you might want to do is run through some of the hub settings to make sure that indeed that hub is ready for use. If we come up to the left hand side, we have a hub menu. This hub menu contains some key areas. We have hub settings, billing information, and project templates that are available for use by different projects on this hub. If I go to my hub settings, we have the ability to view a list of users. In my case, this is a brand new hub that I've only created for the purpose of this video. Therefore, I have no projects, no issues, and only one user, which is myself. If we wanted to add a user into this hub, I can come along to the top right and choose to add a user. This will allow me to add an email address in here. Give that user a role as either a generic user, a guest, or an administrator, admin. In this case, I'm going to make Richard here an administrator, and I'm going to invite him. If we press the tick, Richard will receive an invitation email, and he will be accessed all projects. We continue to add users as necessary to invite people to use on this BIMTRACK hub. Whilst we're in the hub settings, it's also worth pointing out that to the top left of the screen, we can edit our hub. If you should want to, we can rename hubs so long as the name that we want is available, just by editing the name in this location. We also have the ability to edit the avatar by clicking this icon here and uploading any valid image file. To the far right hand side, we have a little cog, which is some additional settings. Using this additional settings, we have the ability to do some batch processes. For example, we can export users and import users. The way that I would work with the import is I would first export a list of users to the desktop in Excel. This will then give you the correct formatting needed to re-import those users easily. For example, if I took this exact format and added a further user, and saved, we could come back into BIMTRACK and choose to import. At that point, you would choose your Excel spreadsheet and that would import those users on bulk. It's worth noting that you can also batch assign multiple users to individual projects or whatever it might be, as well as deleting a hub should you really want to from this location. We have billing information which would show you your current plan for the particular hub that you've purchased. Remember that your hub is what you pay for. A hub can have multiple projects. So you wouldn't typically create multiple hubs unless you were having multiple billing plans. This would show all of the billing information to the relevant administrators for your hub. Typically, that's about all the different settings that we have with regards to hub settings. It's simply coming in, inviting users, having a hub name, and having an avatar.